Xena, Warthog Princess, and welcome to another Vera Bradley haul. Gosh, I feel like it's been a while since we've done one. Uh, it really hasn't been that long, but we did finally have an online outlet sale, so I did take advantage of that. I thought I would be good with just one order, and then I made a second. So here they both are. Before we get to them, I have two more pouches that I had alluded to when I did like my last video. I had talked about the Harry Potter pouch that I got on Amazon. Two of the other ones arrived. There's still a couple more coming. Um, this one is just Hogwarts with the crest. It is a very thin canvas pouch. I wasn't sure when I saw the picture online. It, it, it does seem true to the picture, but it was hard to tell. Um, it is extremely simple. It's not even um, double layer. It's just single layer. And it's basically printed on the canvas is what it looks like. But uh, maybe it's not even a canvas. It's more like just a linen pouch. But it's quite nice, actually. I like that it's lightweight and super flimsy. So that will go good in just about any bag and not add weight, just add organization. And so that's kind of fun. The other one I got is also, it, it's Hogwarts Crest, but it's the letter. You know, I missed out on the letter bag charm. I, I just hemmed and hawed about it and then it was gone. So my bad, snooze you lose. But this is um, actually better for me, way more functional. Um, so it has the, the little stamped red thing on there and it is the letter. So that's pretty fun. And then inside it has just a HP on a red print, so nice and bold. But it is kind of like a padded vinyl like bag so very wipeable but it seems like it will be durable the only problem is it's white but because it is so wipeable I think that will be just fine all right now getting into the haul the first item I got is um, it's the beach blanket in fireworks medallion it comes with this little these are elastic so it's just a big towel rolled up with a strap now the strap is not elastic it's just a nice woven, you know, strap, but it's great. You know, you just throw it over your shoulder or, you know, it keeps it rolled up in your bag so it's not going to unroll. Um, anyways, I just, I've been wanting this and I live so far from the outlet that I was really excited to see it pop up on the online outlet sale. And I will open it for you. I, I haven't opened it up yet and looked at the towel, but one thing I'm finding out right away, I looked at this and I thought, wow, I could use that strap with other towels too. Like when I go to my friend's house to go swimming, just wrap it up. Well, apparently not because it turns out it's actually sewn on the end of the towel. I guess that's good and bad. I just didn't realize that was the case, uh, but it is. So, okay, so it's exclusive to this towel. But, you know, I love my red, white, and blue. So this is a huge towel. It's almost like a beach blanket. Um, oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. So... The medallions are all spread out like fireworks. Wow, it is, it's huge. So you could put like a whole family on this sucker. Let me see if I can get you the bottom end of that. So, I mean, I'm five foot six and it is, I don't have to look at the measurements, but it's touching the ground and it goes to my forehead. That is a huge, yeah, that'd be fun. Very useful for so many things, not just the beach. Then I got a pouch. I love my pouches. Um, these are lightweight outlet style or factory style pouches. This one is the fireworks medallion. So ironically, it doesn't look as matchy to that as you would think it would. This says, let sparks fly, has a faux leather um, zipper, pull tab, wristlet strap, call it all of that. And then it is, uh oh, stuck in the tag. It is um, very simple. It's the, it's, it's like, it's like reactive feeling, but it's lighten up. It's, it's just sort of an in-between, um, honestly. And then it's just got a nylon lining, solid color. But they are, they're, they're nice and good size, so you can put that in any tote. Like, I got it to go with the red, white, and blue, obviously. And then I got these two, same thing we just saw, except it's Tropics Tapestry out of, out of office. And the matching, because this is also Tropics Tapestry, but it's the straw one with the anchor. I just thought this would be specifically good for cruising. I kind of thought I had it already, but I, I don't. 
or if I do, I've misplaced it because I looked before I ordered. I actually paid attention. But these two kind of can go together. So in any bag where I have a couple of things in that pattern, um, or even in the straw, but they can go together. So you have two different pouches. Sometimes you have more organization you need, whatever. So I got that. And then this is something I have not ever seen in person, actually. The pattern I have, this is Dream Tapestry. Beautiful um, sort of purples. It has a, a sort of medallion look to it. Um, but I, I didn't, I just never saw it in person. So Hadley, Hadley characteristics and most of their bags in the Hadley line have these little knotted things. Um, this case actually is very tasteful and you might even be able to take it off because it does seem like it's kind of around the base of that strap. So I, I, I don't know, I wouldn't take it off. For me, it's fine where it is. It actually doesn't, doesn't impede anything. It's just kind of tastefully done. But this is kind of the hipster size. This is in fact the Hadley hipster. Let me make sure I'm not lying to you. Yes, the Hadley hipster. But um, it is more of a straight design. So the older hipsters had a little bit of taper towards the top. The newer ones are more squared. Well, this is definitely more squared. Um, and it's micro diamond quilting. I don't know if you can see that because the pattern is so busy, but there you can kind of see it on the pink. So it's micro diamond, adjustable strap, not removable, but adjustable. And inside it has this very burst looking um, pattern, which I actually like. I don't really think this is one that matches super great with the outside. Colors wise it does, but <laughs> it's just one of those ones you're like, what, I had to do that. Um, but inside the bag, it has a zipper privacy pocket on the back, and then it has two slips on the front. Well, I say back and front, but I say that only because the tag is here. There's also a zipper pocket there, and it has a grommet inside, so you can pass your charging cord through. So you can put your, like put your charger in the pocket inside and put your phone here and just plug it in when you're not using it. That's really cool. But the reason I kind of hemmed and hawed about the front versus the back is the other side is identical, minus the tag and minus the grommet, but it has the same side pocket that goes all the way, the same except the grommet and the, the tag. So. And it was actually, I really like that. So now I can put my keys in one side and my phone in the other or whatever, you know, have your masks. But a nice bag and a great size. It'll go great with all my um, dream tapestry and dream diamonds, both of those. So that's that. Then um, if you've watched so my other videos, I, I pretty much bought everything in the Petite Garden pattern, which was the VBU line. And I didn't really get into the chambray much, but now I have. So um, they're sort of opposites. Like the Petite Garden had the chambray inside and the chambray has Petite Garden inside. But the VBU satchel in the chambray, it just, it looks really nice. And I've been wanting it. Actually, I would love to get it in Petite Garden too, but I missed it. I, I had thought, you know, that, that it's kind of like Mandy sized and that was a little small, but the truth is I really do like that size. And I really like that it has a crossbody strap because I've been all about crossbody lately. Um, you know, like most people, just so you have your hands free to wash things and whatnot. But it's a, it's a cool little satchel. It has this short strap drop. So you can put your arm in there very easily. And it's, um, it's not a true rolled top. It's like folded. So you have this canvas strap folded in half and it's got the petite garden trim on it, which I think really pops nicely. Actually, I really like that. You have a slip pocket on the front. I, that's where I put my cell phone. No pockets on the back, but it does have this nice quilting on the sides. It's just sort of a classy touch. It is a little heavier than some other comparable sized bags. And I think that's partly just the quality of the materials because it is a little bit more robust. And also because the metal fittings because of the crossbody piece and that's a little bit heavy strap. So if you take that off, the bag is a little lighter, actually, noticeably so. Um, but I will leave it on because I want that crossbody option pretty much all the time. But it is a nice crossbody strap and like I said, it does have robust metal fittings on it. Um, inside the bag, you have two slip pockets on the back and on the front you just have, I mean, I said that backwards. No, wait. Yeah, on the front you have the privacy zipper. So 
um, you know, some bags is one way, some is the other, and this one has a zipper in the front. But that's it, and there's the petite garden inside. So let me just put this back on. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, so VBU, yay. The zipper cover thing. Oh, one thing about VBU, if you're not familiar, it has these faux leather zipper pulls, but they're set up to be like ribbons, so they're cut and just like a ribbon. Anyway, okay, so that's a nice handbag. And to go with it and or separate from it, I also got, wait, I wanna call this the wrong thing. I think this is the compact crossbody because, yes, it is. VBU RFID compact crossbody. So again, in chambray, the strap is like canvas um, weave on one side, and then the other side is your petite garden. So that's a nice pop of color with your gray bag. Um, and it actually looks like they wrapped it with like a washi tape, which I've never seen before. Um, but that's a fun pop of color too. But very simple little wallet, wristlet, crossbody. Can be all three, so it's one of those convertible. Your wristlet strap is detachable. So is your crossbody strap, of course. Then you have a slip pocket on the back, really nice slip pocket. Then you have your accordion back section. Two big slips. You've got one card slot on the back back, and then you've got two and two. Oh no, it's just two, just two in the middle. So not multiples. And then you have a clear ID on the opposite side on that middle section there. And then right in the middle, you have your, your coin zipper compartment. Then the front section is a snap opening. You got another clear ID window right there on the inside of your opening. And then you have just a slip here. So it has, it has its own gusset. So that's where you, know, you put your phone. So here's my phone. A 6S Plus easily fits nicely in there. And then the snap. So just like it, its own perfect space. So this will go not only with the BBU and um, chambray, but it'll go with the Petite Garden, of course. Um, although I have this exact same one in Petite Garden. I just, I like it a lot and it's so versatile. It's a great grab and go option. Um, and the VBU tag is a little different as well. That faux leather metallic embossed. There you go. So that, and um, it also might go with some of my Heather Gray, um, both Vera and other brands, Lug or Cinda B or whatever. I have some Heather Gray, but it'll just a, that pop of color, but it's a nice smooth material too. And you could tell coming up that I was on a bit of a denim kick because um, I got several things in different denims. So the first thing is just a denim Gen Zip ID. I like the Gen Zip. I don't use it a whole lot. Um, just, yeah, I try to put everything in my big, one big wallet. Um, this is RFID, actually, which my other one isn't. So I have one Gen Zip, and it's in Winterberry. Um, so this is only my second. But denim goes with everything, so I thought, and the material is pretty robust. It'll last a little longer than the basic cotton, I think. Um, so that's what I thought about it. It has that snap front pocket, which will hold a lot of stuff. And then your regular zip ID on the other half. So you have your two sides with your clear front on it. Um, the interior pattern on this is that um, sort of multi-floral with the different colored dots, depending on which microfiber it was in. Obviously this is not microfiber, but it, it, same idea. So got the zip ID, Gen Zip. And then I got a medium cosmetic, and this is in a different denim. This is a factory style denim, and this is called Moonlight Navy. I always forget that, I don't know why. Um, but it's a nice denim, it's, it's like a softer, I don't wanna say cheaper denim, but yeah, it, it is kind of, it's just not as thick. But I love it, I love it just for what it is, exactly what it is. And the reason I got this one, one, I love the medium cosmetics. I especially like the outlet style, actually, that has that little loop so I can grab it in my bag. But I have the VIP tote from the annual sale that got postponed, and I really have nothing that matches it. So I had gotten just the Penelope Garden Zip ID to go with it, and I kind of just left it at that. But I have some other things in, like, um, Heather 
Indigo, Heather, Heather Indigo, and I'm crossing lines of names between Lug and Vera, but there is a reactive blue Heather that um, this will still kind of go with, and it also will go with the gray. So it's kind of the in-between color between the two. Anyways, I just love these, and I thought that would go great with that one tote and kind of fill that in. Also got a wallet to go with it as well. This also can stand on its own, of course. It's a, um, let me look at the name because it's an outlet style. So it's the RFID wallet crossbody in moonlight navy. So same color outside, but it's kind of like the trifold wallet. You know, it's just a little bit simpler. Like it doesn't have the clear ID windows. It does have this um, storable wristlet strap which I probably really won't ever use, honestly. Maybe, but doubtful. Um, but it has a, three slips here, one clear ID, and then you've got two big slips on this side, one there, one there, and then you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine card slots, so very much like the trifold wallet. And it is a magnetic closure, which is nice. Then there's a back section here that um, unzips and that's where the strap is right now and the scent strip that's just a denim strap that is removable and it has nice metallic hardware and then the, the pockets pretty good sized again it easily fits the phone very nicely and there's even a little extra room in there for other stuff if you, if you so desire so that is cool I do love my little grab and goes in all different forms, which is fun. Okay, and the last thing in denim for this trip is the Iconic Medium Cosmetic in Denim Navy. This came out around the time of Lavender Meadow, and so that's why you see that particular theme embroidered on the denim. So this is actually really high quality. This again is that nice denim. It goes with the Gen Zip. And I do, there is also a zip ID with um, this theme on it as well. I already have that though. Um, but this one is sort of the old style cosmetic. Because of the embroidery, there's no pocket on the front and there's none on the back. So it's pretty simple, straightforward. It is retail side though, not outlet side. So you can see sort of the difference between a medium cosmetic and a medium cosmetic. This one's taller and not as wide, and this one's a little bit shorter and wider, but they're both about the same depth. So whatever, it's all just differences. But this one has this fun ladybug interior pattern, which I really like. Um, so it's nice and light inside. It is plastic coated all across the inside. Um, and it's not on a white background. It's like an off-white and it's almost like a linen looking pattern to it. I don't know if you can really see that on the video. You can kind of tell, but but yeah, so just something I had totally passed on before and it was at a good price, so I grabbed it. Um, as per normal for the online outlet stuff, I will put the, the prices I paid down below for each item. I don't do that for all the things, but for the online outlets, I usually do. Um, this is the travel pill case in Berry Mary. I do, I use these for other things, but um, sometimes you do need to take pills or earrings or other th small things um, with you in your bag, whether you're traveling or whether it's just every day. And so sometimes I just take it out and I just use this for things. Like I have been known to put um, charger and cords in here. I charge my Fitbit charger in here. Usually I put that in an every little thing case, but, but sometimes, you know, just whatever you need to take with you. It does have a space for an ID card. I don't usually use that. Um, but it has the little bunnies on the interior pattern. And the outside has this adorable polar bear snow skiing. And it is that super, super soft um, velvet, which I, I guess I didn't really realize when I ordered it. I just wanted the, the bear and the gray, but I've forgotten. And it's so nice. It's so soft. You like just want to cuddle with it. Um, and these, the, there's eight slots, so you have seven days plus a spare day, or four days and four nights. You know, you can use it a lot of different ways. This particular version of it does separate into twos, um, so they all, they all come apart like that, and then they just slide back together just like that. So just a pop open, pop close. They're great for a lot of different things. Very versatile piece. And so cute. He's so sweet.
soft. Okay, the next item I got, now I actually already have this item. I have this item in this pattern, but this is the Ultimate Wristlet, which is probably my all-time favorite wallet from Vera. I do love the trifold, the turn lock, the, I like a lot of the wallets. I'm, I'm not shy about that. I have tons of wallets, but this one is kind of my favorite grab and go. It, it is a wristlet, so it has a strap. The strap is not removable. I don't really mind that, honestly, um, but this is in Kiev Paisley. And Kiev Paisley is one of those patterns that depending on pattern placement, you can get a totally different piece, honestly, because it has some of the purples and blues and then other parts have the reds and the greens. Um, so honestly, I, I should have grabbed my other one out. Um, actually, I could do that, but anyway, it's not important. Um, but I, I just, I love these. It's a push lock opening on this front part and it is a big wallet. I mean, there's no getting around that. It has two clear IDs and then it has a whole bunch of card slots right here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten card slots. So lots and lots of space there. And then it's, it's that push lock opening. It's just so quick and convenient, which is great. Then the, the zipper is the wristlet strap, which is again, not my favorite, but it's not a problem. Inside you have two areas. This side has a big slip. This side is just card slots. And it has three here and three here. So six card slots on the back wall, none on the middle panel, but then you have your coin slot in the middle. Um, and I guess the reason I just like this is because it's it holds everything. And even though it's quite large, it just works. Um, I really, I've only used one of mine. I probably have like, I don't know, a dozen of them. Some of them have different clasps, different materials. This one has a faux leather trim. Um, but yeah, anyways, I'll stop talking about it. But I do, I like them a lot. And even though it's big, it's like, yeah, it has room for everything. And my phone fits in there as well. And in the same vein, this is the Midtown Snap Tab Wallet, which is the same basic layout, which you're about to see, except the coin thing is on the outside. Obviously, it's a different material. Instead of a push lock, it has a snap tab. Um, so this is Midtown in the Cornflower Blossom, which is from Blues. So again, I thought my blues and gray is kind of blending everything today. Well, not today, but when I did an order. Um, but the zipper on the back, on the outside, I do actually prefer that on the outside. But look, you have your very similar, except here they go this way, and on the other one they go vertically. But same basic capacity, big slip behind the card. And then in the zipper section, this one is not a wristlet. It is just a wallet, which is also fine. Um, but you unzip, and guess what? It's, it's exactly the same, except that that coin thing is on the outside instead of in the middle. So very similar, go figure that I would like the Midtowns as well because it's the same. All right, next we got a tablet sleeve in um, Chandelier Noir. This is actually, it's very nicely padded. It's more padding than I think even my old Indigo Pop one is, which is kind of interesting, but this is a factory style pattern and item. I would never fit my tablet. It's like half my tablet would fit in here, literally. Um, but the reason I got it is because I've gotten really into these planners and things. And that folio with four planners in it, the petite planners, fits perfectly inside these sleeves, the tablet sleeves, to take it with you um, so that it's not getting papers or things jammed in your, you know, that is protecting your journals. Um, I don't think I would need that every day or all the time, and I do have a couple other options. Some are thinner, um, lighter, whatever. But it's just an option, so especially if I'm traveling with those, I want to protect them and not get them all gummed up, so that's one option. Um, there you go. And the last item is, um, this is the Soft Fleece Throw in Berry Mary. It's the one with the little bears and trees and scene. It is very soft and very thin and light. It is a little bit smaller than the regular ones, I think, um, just subjectively. I didn't actually look at the measurements. Let's see. Maybe it's the same, but 80 by 50. Well, it sounds like the same to me, but um, I'm not opening this one because um, even though sometimes I, I have in the past, 
recently I'm not, but this one is actually a gift for a friend. Um, they got married, I got some other things, but I wanted to throw something in here. They're from Colorado, so that fits, um, although now they live in South Dakota. So <laughs> anyway, that's a gift for them, so that's great. And that is it for the haul, but I do have one other set of things to share with you, and that is a CVS auction update. That's a cyclic vomiting syndrome auction that I'm doing as a fundraiser, and I'll put a link here for the announcement way back about that, but for this whole year, from March 5th of 2020 to March 5th of 2021, I'm collecting donations, um, and they're all gonna be auctioned off at the end, so starting starting March 6th, essentially. Hi, Kelly. You want up? Come on. Guess he wants to say hi. hi. It's Kelly's birthday today. I mean, she doesn't really know, but we've been celebrating all day. Just being extra fun, huh, baby? Yeah. 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 Anyway, happy birthday, Kelly. Um, she's four, by the way, four. I can't believe she's four already. Um, so these three items are from Jody. Thank you very much, Jody, for your generosity and your contributions to this fun event. I'm really just overwhelmed by um, everybody's participation. But this is Midnight Blues, and I, I, the name is escaping me because I don't have anything this small, but it's this adorable little um, like baby hipster. Um, and I know there's a name for it, uh, sorry. But it has a zipper pocket on the front, and then it has a slip pocket on the back, and then inside it's got two slip pockets. You're not gonna be able to see them very well because it's dark in there. But it's just a cute little bag, and it is my favorite, one of my favorite all time patterns, Midnight Blues. These are all new with tags, I mean, um, New without tags are excellent use condition. I have to clarify with her, but they are perfect. There's nothing, nothing wrong with them. So I don't think they've really been used. Um, this one is in, so this is a factory style wallet. I would say factory style accordion. I might have the name wrong, but it is accordion style. And this is Ellie Flowers with the purple inside. So you have big slips, and then you have three card slots here, three here, three more here and three more here. And in the middle you have your zipper section. So pretty simple, but nice wallet, good size. It's not a wristlet, it is just a wallet. And then lastly, we've got a triple compartment bag in camo floral. This is a beautiful bag. I actually have a Grand Traveler in the same pattern. Um, so I either need to probably donate that to the auction myself or buy this to go with it obviously anyways um but this is nice it has like the canvas style straps not the slicky nylon so this is a little bit older pattern and style it has two slip pockets on the back and then the middle one is actually the trolley sleeve it does not have that zipper so it's it's only a trolley sleeve not a pocket but it's really nice and then on the front you have one slip pocket so like a phone pocket or your keys whatever you want to put in there no pockets on the sides. It has two handles. They have a nice strap drop. Fits very comfortably on your shoulder. And then, just like the name makes it sound, you have triple compartments. You have pocket here with a zipper, pocket here with a zipper, and then the middle main compartment, your big compartments in the middle. So, the only thing is, it does not have a crossbody strap which I have one of these in a different pattern, which I was just wishing it had one. It makes sense that it doesn't because that middle compartment, the zippers come down there. I still think they could have mounted, I don't know, maybe it would be like, I don't know. But that's why it doesn't have the crossbody strap. It's not missing, it doesn't, it doesn't have one, it never did. So there you go, but let's look at this a little closer. So this has actually like a faux leather trim as the piping on the sides and the top of the pocket here. That's kind of different, you don't always see that. The front pocket is a big pocket and you have two slips right here, two small slips, and it's nylon lined, so very wipeable as well. The middle compartment has two big mesh pockets on this side and they're elasticized. 
And on the opposite side, it has three, so a little bit smaller, but there's three of them. And then, you know, so the main compartment is the majority of the bag, but in total, that's, there's a lot of bags there. Then the last compartment is, is simple. There's no slips or anything, but there is a Velcro tab and a padded section and the back wall is also padded. So for your laptop or tablet or whatever, or you can just put folders and things or just separate other things inside your bag. So one thing I would tell you in using this bag, uh, because I've used mine, which mine is in Kia Paisley, but it looks huge, right? I mean, it looks like a weekender size bag. It kind of is, but the way it's compartmentalized, I personally feel like I lost some space in translation. So depending on what you're using it for, you know, it's, it may or may not be as big as it seems, just for whatever that's worth. That being said though, this is an excellent large work bag. Um, just, yeah. But it is also not currently a style that's available. But there are some similar options, so there you go. But that wraps it up for today. So thank you again to Jody. Thank you all for watching. Hope you're doing well and had a great weekend. Um, happy September. Happy birthday to Kelly. And don't forget to wash your hands. Still got all that going on. And be well, be happy, take care of each other. Bye for now.